Hi, Ranger Gord again, way up here at Fire Watch Tower 13. You know, a lot of people ask me, do you ever get bored up here? Well, I say to them, hey, how can I ever get bored when I've got my imagination in so many different clouds? Like, look at that one. That one looks like Barbara Bain cutting the lawn. <laughs> hey, look at that one. That one looks like Raquel Welch sharpening her pencils. <laughs> oh, look at that one. That looks like one of the women from Gilligan's Island. <laughs> oh, there's a woman smiling at me and waving. She just has a towel on. <laughs> Okay, so let's say you're in real trouble. Doesn't matter what for. Never does. No. Uh, <laughs> but whatever the trouble is, uh, we have a few golden rules that all men follow to sort of help you ease the squeeze. Rules that men have followed for hundreds of years and we're going to pass them on to you. Yeah. Okay, first of all, don't argue back. It just, it just winds them all up. The more you let her blow it all off, the quicker you can get back to your normal routine. <laughs> See, there's nothing that bugs a woman more than someone who disagrees with her. No, that brings us to rule number two. Always agree with her, no matter what she says. Yeah. You gotta look her straight in the eye and go, you know something, dear? You're absolutely right. <laughs> Most of the time, that'll completely disarm them. Oh, the only trick, though, is you gotta be humble for at least an hour afterwards. Eh? Otherwise, she'll realize that you're pulling her chain. <laughs> and that brings us to rule number three. Never underestimate a woman, okay? A woman is the most sophisticated, clever, intuitive creature on the face of the earth. You, on the other hand, are just a man. <laughs> Tell you one thing, if you're talking safety, you are not talking to Buzz Sherwin. Hey, Buzz. Hey, Red Man! Whoa! <laughs> hey, Harold, watch it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, you got a safety tip for us. Hey, two words, Red. ATV. <laughs> oh, all right, all right. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. The all-terrain vehicles. That's right, that's okay. right. Now, I got one, so yeah. I know yeah. they are overpowered, they are skitterish, they are hard to stop. Talk about fun. <laughs> Whoa! So be careful, you can get injured. You mean from them tipping over easy or from falling off? No, no, it seems to be the brakes. They, they are just, like, totally useless when they're wet. So remember that, safety first. Well, maybe the brakes just need to be adjusted. Uh, do you have the owner's manual, Buzz? Yeah, it's in the compartment under the seat. Well, why don't you go get that and we'll see what it says. Okay. Uh, 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 oh, oh. Well, I hooked up that satellite dish 36 hours ago, and the guys haven't stopped watching TV. You know, Uncle Red, uh, the more average North American watches six hours of TV a day. You know that? Yeah, I heard that if we didn't watch that much TV, we'd have, like, time to earn six college degrees, maintain five hobbies, and be in peak physical condition. Wow, is that true? Where'd you hear that, Harold? I don't know, some show I was watching. <laughs> I mean, these guys haven't even taken a bathroom break. Junior Sinkle's down there hopping from one foot to the other, yelling, buy a bowel, buy a bowel. <laughs> that, that's buy a vowel, Uncle Ray. They're, they're watching Wheel of Fortune. No, they're watching ER. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll get them out of the TV room. Don't you worry. All right, all right. Yeah, I'll tell you what you can do. Smack them on the head with that if you have to. A, a New York City phone book? No, no, that's the satellite TV guide. <laughs> Look at all this mindless yeah. stuff. Look at that, huh? Yeah. Boy, Thunderbirds! Thunderbirds! <laughs> yeah, channel 562. That's a, I've only seen this one five times. It's a good... The safety smart handyman knows you should always start each new project with a clean workspace. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Today we got an adventure with Bill for all of you teenagers who should be studying physics instead of physiques. We're gonna kind of concentrate on one of Newton's laws here, and I don't mean the one with the fig in it. <laughs> this is the one that says for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction. I got the pogo stick there, and uh, Bill's adding energy, so I'm gonna try to subtract a little bit. Jumping wow. down on the pogo stick, there he presses the... Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Uh, all right, fine. Now, you see, that wouldn't have gone nearly as far if he hadn't put as much energy into the focus. That's a, that's a valuable lesson. About 80 bucks, I think it was. <laughs> oh, Bill's got an idea. Oh, boy. Is that good news? I'm thinking probably not. <laughs> this is the TV antenna tower that we no longer need now that we've got the satellite dish. So Bill's thinking, hey, wait a minute. Maybe I can just use this for a project. <laughs> Bill's fun to watch, isn't he? What, what? Oh, look out, look out, look out. Window. There's the action. <laughs> There's the reaction. Hmm. Appreciate that, Bill. And recycle the air. Oh, yeah, no, it's fine. You don't care. It's not your truck. <laughs> Anyways, he's going to use the tower part. Like at this point, we've kind of made a commitment. So we 
what are we doing there? And, oh, yeah, yeah, just walk around. You should warn a person when you put <laughs> something down. It took me a while to catch my breath. I was okay. I should have kept my eye on Bill, I guess. We'll be back to finish that when I regain consciousness. Stay tuned. Well, 37 hours and counting since I hooked up the satellite dish. Not one person who's wandered into that TV room has come out alive. <laughs> I haven't seen that many slack-jawed, dull-eyed, blank expressions since my grade 10 class picture. <laughs> it's so quiet in here, the mice are coming out of the walls and just joining us. It's just some, it's too quiet. I hate it. Way, way too quiet. <laughs> you here to join the lodge? <laughs> you here to join the lodge because we can, on the TV room? Yeah, it's that way. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay, Red. Red, you okay, man? Are you okay? Oh. Jeez, Buzz. If you're gonna fly like that, get doors on the plane. Doors, yeah, doors. <laughs> Welcome to the expert portion of the show. And on this week's expert portion of the show, we have the experts, my uncle Red, and his good friend, Dougie Franklin. Okay. Our first letter goes as follows. Uh, dear experts, Aww. recently, <laughs> recently my girlfriend and I were out cruising in my Camaro on our way to a street race when she pulled her scarf off my rearview mirror and told me it was all over between us. <laughs> I, the next night, next night I saw her on the back of some guy's motorcycle. How can I win back the girl of my dreams bereft in Boston? <laughs> well, I tell you, feller, I think if you want her back, this is what you got to do. You got to get your vehicle into the shop. You got to get your rings done and your headers chrome. <laughs> what you're saying is this romance just needs a little tune-up. Well, yeah. In a matter of words, yeah, way of speaking, I would say that romance red, she's like your internal combustion engine. If you want her to run smooth, you got to maintain your spark. <laughs> now, my advice to bereft is check your timing. Gap your plugs, and you may not need that jump start. Well, I, don't, I don't think it's very flattering. People won't want their love life compared to a slant six. It's an accurate comparison, though, and I think Bereff has just got to hope that the problem is only the spark, because if it ain't the spark, then it's the gas. We all know how quickly you can kill a romance when you are backfiring down lover's lane. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the science lesson, I got an ice pack on my head there, and uh, Bill's got a drain pipe, and he's got the thing, he's got a bungee. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the science lesson, I have two ice packs, and Bill has cut the uh, tower down, he's got a drain pipe, he's got bungee cords, and he's what he's done is... What has he done? Oh, my gosh. He's made a gigundo pogo stick. Holy mackerel. You know, you gotta hand it to him. Oh. <laughs> Bill drives by ear. <laughs> well, the reason he brought the van in, which I wish he had explained to me earlier, is he's gonna jump up on top of her there so that he has a higher mounting. And then if the young people are listening to this, uh, you should, you should, this is something you should pay attention to because you see, you're farther from the center of the earth. And I believe the gravity pulls down on you with some more gravity. And I'm to prop that up to him. And here's the action he's gonna take by stepping on that. And here's the reaction I'm gonna take by getting the heck out of the way. And there he goes, look at that. The world's largest pogo stick. Boingy, boingy, boingy. There we go. Oh, watch out, Bill. She's a big hill, big Oh, 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 down she comes. Look at that reaction. Oh, my golly. Okay. <laughs> Class is dismissed. <laughs> Uncle Red! Uncle Red! Something's wrong with the satellite feed. We're not getting a good picture. Uncle Red! Oh, really, Harold? So, I'm, so, I'm sorry, I was gone. How long is I was yeah. gone, like half an hour, huh? Twelve and a half hours, Harold. <laughs> oh, no way. Oh, no, yes way. No way, I yes just know, because yes. I just watched, like, that one rerun of Banachek. Uh -huh. And then there was a little bit of the car race, uh -huh. you know, and, and then I watched Best of Celebrity Circus, yeah. you know, and then there was, the, there was a, so those few game shows in there and some right. and music videos, and then there's those people line dancing. Uh -huh. And then we watched that infomercial about the sunglasses, you see, watch, and then Model Zinc was on. And what year is it now? <laughs> Oh, did you hear that? Did you hear that? I think there's an episode of Lassie starting. Harold, that's a call to the meeting. 
Yeah? Yeah. Oh, because you know, because it sounded like Star Trek or, or Next Generation. Voyager, come here, Voyager. Harold, it's the meeting. Get down there right now. It's the meeting. Yeah? So if my wife is watching, I'll be coming straight home after the meeting. I am sick to death of television. I'm gonna stop at the video store and get a movie. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Be out myself and Harold and the whole gang up here at Possum Lodge. Keep your stick on the ice. For more information on Red, Green, and Possum Lodge merchandise, call 1-800-Y-Possum or find us on the internet at www.redgreen.com.